let us go and try to understand what are the things we are going to cover here majorly we are trying to concentrate on the course content what we have the course content second we are going to concentrate on the some projects from each level each level and as part of this course we are concentrating on three different roles we are concentrating end of my course end of my course you will be end of my course you are industry ready with three roles number one role that is that is called as python programmer number two that is called as data analyst number three that is called as data scientist so this is what what we are going to be ready end of my course python programmer role data analyst role data scientist role now we go and try to understand what you mean by data science it is a process or it is a product tell me what is the data science is it a process or it is a product online folks it's a process yeah it's a process now is a process not a product it is as as it is a process i can implement using any language it may be c c++ java scala python or what else not any language i can take and i can implement that one but however what are the languages in the market we are seeing the data science projects is these are the languages like python r scala and sas i think in my previous lecture i given the percentage of the projects available in this area python occupied 70 percentage or occupied 20 percentage these two things together occupied 10 percentage of the projects out of these four which one is more used in our life that is python is more used in our life and again we are saying as how many training flowers i am offering or which i know it otherwise what are the things i know it i know only two things data science with python and data science with r i never get chance to work up with the sas relation but scala i got it but i am not offering that course as of now sas i didn't get chance to see the data sets also okay now this is a time to understand course content of data science with python as well as r if you see my course i divide into level 1 of 8 what is the meaning of that level 1 of 8 means total how many levels are available eight levels are available first level is basics of the python the coding a to z i am going to teach it there is no need of knowing something before attending my course it may be related to the coding or it may be related to the statistics everything how far we needed for the data scientist role those all things i am going to explain here okay that's what i started my journey level 1 of 8 what you are going to learn exactly let us see very summary points level 1 of 8 we are going to learn about how to define the variable for example what we did here 10.3 we we assigned to abc am i clear now once you assigned what is this value it's called as float and what is the abc value it contains 10.3 if i change this one 10.3 to 10 now what is called as integer what is the value holded by abc 10 suppose if i am changing this as 10 plus 2j then what is the value it contains now complex i am going to show you different data types different data types i am going to show it as part of the level 1 i am going to show it am i clear second we are trying to do here that is called as string object we are defining and we are trying to know what is this next is boolean object Next, we are going for up to loopings. We are going to understand in this level. What we are going to learn in the level one? Majorly, this is what the course content. You can go and observe the course content. Let me open the course content also here. So I have here course content with me. The soft copy is available. This is what the course content. Data science with Python.
it's opening give it some time okay so this is what the course contained whatever i have it so first level of training if you observe here what is this level 1 basics with python we are going to understand about please ask me if you are not understanding anything so python introduction anaconda introduction installation what is spider what is jupyter what is github github repositories how to create it different data types what are the objects operators control flows up to loops we are going to understand in the basic level of the python is it clear what you are going to understand in the level 1 Is it clear what, what we are going to understand in the level 1? Yes. Yeah. Now, end of this level 1, are you going to do any industry role in the company? No. We cannot do, with this basic knowledge, we cannot do any role. That's what we are moving on to the level 2 of the Python. That's called as advanced Python, including OOPS concepts we are doing it. So, it may be defining some functions. We are trying to calculate your square of the function. It may be translating your mathematical equation into our Python code. We are translating this one into our Python code. We are translating it. Or it may be doing big, big for loops or conditions, everything in the single line handling. That level we are going to learn about it. If you see the course content about the second level of training, functions, methods, classes, modules, packages, lambda functions, Handling the errors and exceptions, iterables, iterators, list comprehensions and generators. Till here we are going to learn it. If you know these all things, you are fit for one role. What is the role you are fit for? Python developer or called as Python programmer. End of the level 2 of the training, you can prepare your resume and you can apply for the job positions which are talking about Python developer or Python programmer. You'll be ready with that role skills what you needed. You can cross verify this one. Just go to the today Naukri portal. Just type the Python programmer with uh, with three or four five years of experience. Observe the job descriptions. In the job description, you'll have okay the resource should be having this knowledge, this knowledge, this knowledge like that, right? In that knowledge, that corresponding course content is available here or not? You can cross validate it. Am I clear? Based on the industry standards, we prepared this material, we prepared it. That is about the role one Python developer or Python programmer. Please look into it. If you have any questions, ask me.